What up guys, it's Radon Sports News. Today we're going to be talking about Tim Tebow and how he might end up in the big leagues with the New York Mets. Now earlier in the week, Mets GM Sandy Alderson came out and said, I envision Tim Tebow playing in the big leagues this coming season. And that's great. I don't believe there's anybody in the world that deserves it more than Tim Tebow. He has worked his tail off his entire career, no matter whether it was in college, whether it was in the NFL, and now baseball. He has worked his tail off in his charity work as well. He is one of the best civil servants, I believe, in America right now. The guy is amazing. He's an amazing person. Now, if you look at his stats throughout last season, were they great? Not really, no. He only had about a 231 bat batting average throughout the whole entire year, eight home runs. So was it great? No. But he, really, a, a lot of that attributed to his start. His start really wasn't that good. And it was really just because he was getting a feel for baseball at a professional level. He was just kind of getting a feel for it. And it, it took him a while to adapt, as it would anybody how would you just like to be thrown in, thrown into single A or double A? How, how, how would you like that? It would be hard. You wouldn't get it at the, at the a flick of a switch. It's just not going to happen. But let me tell you, at the end of the season, if, you, if anybody paid attention, he didn't make a lot of headlines, he was really heating up. I believe he ended off, towards the end, he had a 13-game hit streak, and that is nothing to shy away from. That, that's a good streak. 13 hits. Great streak. Started smacking some homers. So, really, and Tim Tebow has a lot of power. Eight home runs? Is that really good for a season? No, not at all. But let me tell you, the guy has a lot of power. He's going to put it together. He had a whole entire offseason to train. He's getting, he got a call up to play for the Mets in spring training. That's definitely going to help him get him around the major league coaches, get him around the major league players that can really help him out. Really, th this, is, this is great for Tim Tebow. The man deserves it. And if you want to talk about anybody, it, anybody being blackballed, I know there, there's, there's a couple players, one in particular, you know who it is that they say has been blackballed from the league. His name's Colin Kaepernick. The guy sucks. The guy sucks. But if you want to talk about anybody that's been blackballed in sports, there hasn't been a bigger one than Tim Tebow. Honestly. Tim Tebow was a talented NFL quarterback, rising star, took the Broncos, it took a very horrendous Broncos team to the playoffs, beat the Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger, when he was still decent. Honestly, Tim Tebow deserved to be a top NFL quarterback, but the media in the league didn't want him. Didn't want him. John Elway didn't want him. Rex Ryan just kept him on the roster because he didn't like him, so he kept him as second string, the Mark Sanchez of all people. Just, it it's horrible to see the media and these people keeping a good Samaritan down like that. Tim T and it's all just because he's religious and he brings it to the field. And for whatever reason nobody likes to see that display. Why not? I don't know. What why why would you not like to see that? I love to see that. I I, I love to see that. We we need more people need to have God in their lives. A lot of people don't really even even bother anymore. I don't understand why. I don't understand what's the problem with thanking God for what has happened. Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow would do something great. He'd win a game. And you, you, you'd see him kneel down and he'd be thanking God. And people didn't like that. Why? What's wrong with that? Really. Pe people are, there's some sick people out there. There's some, a lot of sick people out there. And, and the people that really just just complain about that they're disgusting Disgu they are the troglodytes of the nation 
complain, complain about somebody praying and thanking God, you are a troglodyte. You really are. Morons. And then Bryce Harper, and th this was a while ago when Tim Tebow first got signed, he made comments about how praying doesn't belong on the baseball field. You, shut up, Bryce Harper. You're a moron. I cannot stand Bryce Harper. It, screw off. Honestly. I, I cannot begin to fathom why people think praying is bad. And that's why Tim Tebow's been blackballed this long. Now, luckily, Sandy Alderson gave him a shot. And you got to give huge props to Sandy Alderson for giving him a shot. Because nobody else wanted to. And it's, it's very sad to see this. Very sad. Because Tim Tebow is a great person. He's a great athlete. And the fact that he got he basically got run out of football and he felt he needed to go to another sport, he went to baseball. Honestly, kudos to Tim Tebow. He's got a lot of courage. And the thing of it is, Tim Tebow never says anything bad about anybody. No matter how, how many times he's been criticized and put down his whole entire career, he's always stayed positive and he's never put down anybody. And that's the person that really everybody should be. Everybody needs to be that type of person. No matter how many times people criticize you or put you down and really criticize your beliefs, he stays positive. He stays up. He believes in himself. He is the biggest believer in himself. And he pushes himself to do better. And he does the best he possibly can. And that, that is really great. That's great. I love it. Tim Tebow should be on the New York Mets. And if he gets to the New York, New York Mets... Mark my words, he will, be, he will become one of the best MLB players in the league. He will bring the New York Mets a World Series championship. Obviously not by himself, but he will be an extremely big part of it. Tim Tebow is one of the greatest people in America right now. And it's unfortunate to see him being criticized and blackballed. And you can see all the media outlets right now that are criticizing the Mets. So when, when's this joke going to gonna stop being funny? Listen, shut up. Shut up. Tired of it. Tim Tebow is a great person. He's a great athlete. He's going to be a great baseball player. And everybody, just watch. Just watch. Sit back. Don't say a damn word. He's going to take the league by storm. Just watch. That's it. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to talk about something, leave it in the comments below. And always remember, right on, brother. We'll see you.